reach out to an expert who found some clues in their body language. Body language is a language of its own. It tells you all about a person's true emotion. I've been researching the show and analyzing all of the body language of each of the celebrities. During their performances, the celebrity's body language can tell you what they're really thinking inside. During the elimination, a celebrity's body language can be very revealing. It could go either way, up or down. As the pressure gets more intense, look past the sequence and the smiles. Look at the body language. That's where you'll find your next champion. When you really know what to look for, the body doesn't lie. The voice doesn't lie. This is where we see Whitney coming back. She's gracious. She's looking at people. She's connected. I think parents that subject their children to this really need to take a good look at themselves. That Dr. Murray is scared to death and he has something to hide. Today's news doesn't surprise me at all because this tape did not put him in a good light, especially in the court of public opinion. It's going to hurt him in the long run. The Jackson family must be livid because Dr. Murray didn't show any compassion. He didn't show any feeling. And any family that's grieving wants to know that people feel sorry, that people have compassion for them. We did not see this in this tape. Dr. Lillian Glass is an expert in body language and says that when she watches Casey's jailhouse conversations, she sees a lot of deception. Okay, what do you see there? Okay, well, first of all, she does a very subtle movement with her shoulder. It's kind of sh shrugging it off. That's an indication of deception. She looks down. She stops for a moment. I don't know, Mom. And she seems very defensive. And it's not only that you can tell a lot about deception, but you can tell a lot about the relationship that she has with her mother, with her father. Hi. 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 Oh, good to see you again. Oh, Thank you. Chelsea. How are you? Hi, Dr. Glass. Hi. Great to see it's you. Wonderful to see you too. Hello. Hello. How are you? Ricky. Nice to meet you, Ricky. Nice to meet you. Last time we were here, it was so helpful. I really see that. I see your body language is great. I mean, you two are connected. I'm very... Our train, it was going perfectly, you know? Choo, 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 choo. And all of a sudden, this big bastard shows up and unbalance everything. Chewy, would you say that you're maybe a little jealous? Would you be feeling jealousy? Chewy and I several times, right? Um, this Beverly Hills blonde has traveled the world. So, you know, everybody has to just be very cool. The rules are that you don't attack anybody. You're very, very calm. Definitely very nice. Hi, Guy. I'm Dr. Lillian Glass. And uh, I guess you weren't expecting this, were you? No, they told me lunch was out early. Well, these are some really good friends of yours, and they love you to death because I was sitting here talking about you. And what they've done is they've written something about you, and they'd like to read it to you. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Heather? Chelsea, I have to tell you, with all due respect, a lot of people around here have been saying that you're pretty guilty of being an enabler, and I've seen that myself right now. Oh, you want to yeah. go? Yeah, I'm going to go. Really? Yeah. All right. You will land, okay? Why oh, don't you take it down and out? Heather, back me up on this. Okay, so let's go back and, and talk about the subject today. at hand here. Just get a belt already. What the <laughs> Are you going to wear a belt? It's either now or never. It's a beautiful story. And it's, it's, the bottom line is, today is the rest of your life. Uh, I'm ready to change. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to change. Why don't we have a hug here? How are you? I'm very happy Good. that you're here. Great. I'm Dr. Lillian Glass. I call Dr. Lillian Glass a well-known communication psychologist. She's tops in her field to help me mediate the problems I've been having with Peter, and hopefully she really spoke out. So, Janice, what do I need to know? We're going to have to do some serious communication here because there's a major breakdown, as you both know. First of all, there's so much tension. Whatever she says, it's going to be, well, she's micromanaging. Ugh, here she is again. And whatever he says, I'm going to be angry. So both of you were in trouble. That's why I'm here. I don't here. want to be angry anymore. I want harmony. Mm -hmm. I want, okay I want, I want to That's what it's I'm about. Okay okay. Karen, I'd like you to stay behind because I'd like to talk with you one on one, okay? Okay. I stayed there with Dr. Glass, and she gave me a, a small one-on-one -on -one interview. She saw right through me, which was cool. 
She knew exactly who she had in front of her. I was listening to what people were saying. Um, you know, some of the stuff was pretty hurtful. I know I would feel kind of taken back. The thing that about... bothered me a little bit was the preaching thing. People were there for me. Lillian, you know what? That's why we love you, okay? <laughs> Always the optimist. What about having a humanity class, a class to teach people to have heart again, to have feelings? I mean, this is just unacceptable what's happened. They don't have feelings. It's just a job. It's a paycheck to them. And it's really horrible. And when you look at this family, your heart goes out to these three children. And Where, Where's the two-year-old? It is unbelievable. And statistically, it doesn't happen that often with women. Most of the time in cases like this, unfortunately, it happens with, with men.